Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to check out Double Reclassified from Ascension Brewing Company. Uh, triple New England IPA. This one, uh, Triple New England IPA with Honey 11% ABV. I actually started this review about 15 minutes ago and when I went to sit the can down, I went like this and it fell and I started talking trying to talk myself into it. Let's just open this. I couldn't. So I did another review uh, before this one. Um, so I believe I've had reclassified. I think that's what it was called. Years, I want to say four or five years ago, um, they released reclassified. I didn't check untapped. I probably should have, but what's the fun in that? Uh, let's try and remember stuff. And I had to have Hoffman Street get it, and they were like the only place that had it, or could get it, or hadn't gotten it, so they could get it, something like that, uh, and I liked it, I believe, uh, but this is the big brother, I'm guessing, I don't know how, if they put this out before, we can check on tap later, there's no date on this, um, $4.99 is what I paid for this. Let's see what we get out of this. Like I said, it was 15 minutes ago, so we should be good. I am using an Arvon glass. I know somebody's going to say it. I don't have an Ascension Brewing glass, so this is the one I'm going to use. Wow, that is orange. Uh, there's a whole bunch of text on here. If you haven't been following me, please hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. Share it with your friends. Um, I try not to know anything about the beer, uh, just so there's nothing in my head, because once you start looking at Untapped or reading what's on here, you're like, oh yeah, I can get that. I don't want that. I'm telling you as it comes out my mouth. Um, I'm going to go with like a light orange cream colored head. I think it's just the lights, but the middle of this looks like an orange cream sickle. And the outside is white. Pretty much all small bubbles from this glass, a little over a finger of head. Um, dirty, hazy orange. I'm hoping this is on the orange side. Here, I'll turn this away so we can't see that. Yeah, a dirty orange in color. It is a triple. I hope that's the hops doing that uh, and not oxidized. But let's go ahead and smell, see what we get. I'm sure it's fine. Like a resiny, juicy orange. Uh, a touch of honey. I'm... Uh, I'm trying to think, and I guess it's the home brewer, trying to think, because usually you aren't going to get the honey. It's going to be, uh, depending on where you use the honey. It's not going to really, it, it's going to help the yeast up the ABV, but the... What do they call that? I was trying to think of it the first time and I couldn't. It's not, you have to have like nutrients or something in there to, uh, fermentable. It's not very fermentable. Um, so you have to help it along. That's why they put nutrients, yeast nutrients, uh, when they make mead. Uh, because the honey and the, ye the yeast isn't going to eat the honey on its own. Man, and I wonder if I still have some of that in here. I probably shouldn't worry about it, but now that I'm thinking about it, no, I don't have any in here. Never mind. Yeah, uh, there's so I want to say like dankness, like this, uh, some kind of like dank, juicy orange with a touch of honey I've smelt that before I 
I think it's now I'm adding every brewery into this review. It's like Wax Wings. Is it Triple Nazareth? That's kind of what this smells like. It's not a big smell, but yeah, I would go with like a dank, juicy orange with a touch of honey. Let's go ahead and taste. Wow, that's smooth. Like orange pulp, orange juice, very pulpy orange juice. thick there's a little bitter there, there's enough bitterness at least for me that kind of cuts that sweetness in there hmm wow that's smooth um could i say creamy since i said orange cream sickle yeah, like a creamy, thick, pulpy orange with a touch of, with some dank rind. There, I'm, it seems like that dankness is climbing just a little bit, but so is the, the bitterness in this one. Eleven percent wear. Um, there's not a lot of complexity to this. To me, and again, we'll check on tapped. You're staying in that orange realm, citrus realm, and it's just it's sweet, it's bitter. So depending on how you like that. I think the higher you'll score this. Um, I would go with a 4.5. I'm trying to think if I had, if each point was uh, 0.25, what two points would I give this or would have to be in here to up it to a 5? Um, I think one would be cream. Like, I think it needs to be a little bit more creamy. I don't know if they're trying to play on, like, an orange Julius or an orange creamsicle or something like that. Um, but I think vanilla or something like that. But if we're dealing with a New England IPA, I think that that orange needs to be brighter. Maybe a little bit more bitterness and a little less honey. To take out that sweetness, at least for me, uh, I mean, we're we're probably talking what sixty IBUs, if that perceived, and that's that's pushing it. And I think that's just because it seems like the the bitterness is growing as I'm talking. I think that sweetness would have to drop. And that, that orange would have to be a little bit brighter. And a little less honey. Yeah. And that would get to a 5. But 4.5 out of 5 for me. I would definitely buy more of this. Let's check on tapped. Okay. Uh, one of my friends checked it in. 4.2 out of 5. 108 people checked it in. 4.35 out of 5. Um... Okay. Um, Citra, ripe peach, freshly mango, fleshly mango, and honey. What? So that's the style guidelines. Well, I, I don't fully understand that. Citrusy, tropical, piney, full, strong. Uh, Greg didn't say anything. He had it a, a couple of weeks ago. Um, really? I'm, I, I don't get fruit. Um, 
And of course, nobody else is saying a word about this. Okay, here you go. Orange, yellow. No, this is not orange, yellow. It is orange. Fresh citrus. They say melon, peach, pineapple. Almost like nectar. It is what it is. But I drink... What is... Mango? Mango orange juice. So that guy said mango, right? No, he said peach. Um, that tastes nothing... That I would say that's fruitier side with the mango. That tastes nothing like this. But... Hey, if everything, if everybody's palate was exactly the same, you wouldn't need untapped. And everybody would know what beer to buy. So, yeah, it is what it is. I think it's almost all citrus. Let's just go with that sweet citrus honey. Uh, if you can get this, definitely one to pick up and try. If you like this review, Check out some more over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you know when new ones are coming out. And have a good day. Avery, you too. Until the next one, cheers.